What's up YouTube and welcome back into the next episode of our Cardassia and Dominion playthrough. I'm here with Jamie Place. First of all, how are you doing Jamie? Hello everyone. Yeah, I'm doing very well. I think um, coming off of a high from the last episode as well, I think we both were very happy with how kind of that went. Um, and kind of hoping to continue that kind of momentum in today's episode as well. I think if we can kind of have a string of episodes like that, we'll both be very happy with this playthrough. Oh, although, I must admit, we are both very happy already with it. I think it's going well. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, I, if you guys have waited the week to watch this next episode, um, then just to remind you that what the plan is for me anyway and that is to take out the rest of the valerians and then we're going to head down and take out bajor and we're going to start that really kind of daunting occupation which i've never done before this is the first time i've ever played as cardassia so it's quite interesting i do love it when it's a first time sort of thing um and then quickly jamie i'll tell you what i'll push play now if um do you want me to push play well do you want to yeah, push play yep yeah. Go, for, go, for, yeah, go for it then and we get the we get it rolling now and um jamie can let you know what his plans is as as well so uh go ahead with that yep normal or fast speed well it's up to you do you if you're gonna discuss a few things do you want to go normal and then bump it up yeah or we you can, can do that go straight right. in yeah i'm i'm happy to go straight in i don't have much to do at the moment okay so. let's do but it fast. you make the call yep fast okay. speed because i want to get to that wormhole as quickly as possible absolutely so yeah in the last episode i had kind of a not surprise war with the yadarans because like i wanted to vassalize them and they didn't they said no so then i had the option to fight a war and i went you know what they're a single system they look like they're pathetic in comparison to me like what could possibly go wrong and on the whole like it did work out although they their star base was um kind of taking one shot and destroying some ships so that was not so fun but the um kind of coalition of the alliance that i went to war with um i think that's now two episodes ago so about 10 in-game years ago is now fighting a um losing battle against the rakari third Imperial, um who is very happily kind of taking some of their systems destroying their fleets so i think actually very soon i'm going to go to war against um kind of the people who took some systems from me and take those back so what i'm going to do oops, wait oh we want Trellium. Okay, maybe I didn't correctly um, do the ships last time. Maybe I'll need to do that first. Go to my ships. Uh, you don't want Trellium destroyers, but I think... Oh, tactical destroyers. You do. It's... Ah, I see. Um, let us... And... Yes, and a fold. And then for weapons. Dicyclic. Bonks. Go for the Dicyclic life support. That looks good. And I'll just quickly do some research, like some crew quarters and air station stuff. And back to my ship. Oh, wait, I didn't save it. Oh, I'm always doing. Oh, you know what? Let's go here. I'm going to create a new design for a cruiser. Cruiser. We're going to go for an advanced tactical. And it. Base superiority cruiser? Now let's just go for a normal cruiser now. Auto complete the ship, but not trillion plating. Want form fitting. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's save that as the advanced uh, cruiser advanced. That's you know what, that's fine. Yep. Oop, not advanced S, just advanced. Great. So then I'll, that way I'll be able to upgrade things. We go. Oh, yeah, most oh, definitely. Construction complete. You know what? I think I'm going to go after the. The docile and all of that. I'm kind of no excuse for not at this point. Yeah, yeah, that sounds so good. Let's you down here. Slay. Uh, yeah. 
that these gates will act together for the moment because they're strong enough to do it. And I need the Admiral. Oh, I have a founder who could be an Admiral. Oh, nice. Two founders. Weapons range. That definitely does. And they kind of live forever. <laughs> Basically, I think the the age is like 980 or something. Not dying. 1,018 uh, 1, is the age uh, where they you, they might start to die. And I, you usually oh. recruit them about like between 20 and 50. So, yeah. That's pretty good. I like that. It is. How are things in your your quadrant? Um, I'm doing a bit of uh, spying right now. and Oh, nice. Yeah, things are going quite well with the spying. We're just getting some information on some of these civilizations at the moment. I think, though, once I've got enough, I think I do now. I'm going to go for a asset. Um, so mm -hmm. here's a question. I wonder. This is a good question, I think. So if I get an asset for the United Earth, or say for the Tellarites, and then the United Federation of Planets form, do I lose that asset? Ooh. Or will it become I one for the United Federation of Planets? Yeah, it's an interesting one, huh? Unfor yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. I don't know... I can't really answer that question. I don't think I've ever actually like, had an asset failed. against United Earth. Yeah, correct? that's what I mean. Hmm. So we, we'll find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer that for you as soon as um I find out. Perfect. So I'm gonna acquire assets on everyone I can here. Um, because they're quite no, handy. The more the merrier, really. Yes. Yeah. In my Krenim playthrough, I've got like four or five of them with the Borg. But they keep on spawning like the same sort of um speciality that they have. It's annoying. It's like, oh so I keep so I go again and I get the same speciality again. It's like, ugh. Mm -hmm. So I've got like five of them, five spies that can do the same thing. Five assets. I see. Yeah, I haven't I mean like I do um use people as like spies and things but it's not something that i have the most experience with i think i think just because i haven't played so many kind of empires that would focus on spycraft yeah so you often i'm using them as like envoys and then it's like oh look i have i'm the federation i have like i can gain intelligence and that's it <laughs> like i can't like do anything else necessarily technology secure occupation complete we have the obsidian order has successfully convinced the provisional government to uh, basically allow our troops down there and start taking command. So happy days. Awesome. And we Is have... that that was of the primitive you had, right? It's one of the primitives. Yep, yeah. I've got another primitive that Technology I can. Um, secured. I, I'm doing the same thing too. I thought, you know what, just go straight for it. Honestly, I think, might as well. At yeah, that point. Have, having the planet has got to be a lot better than just a bit of research. The extra research is nice, but having the planet, think about all that research you can get from having the planet by putting down universities and all sorts of good stuff like that. Absolutely. Let's um, see. All material. Receiving communications. This is the one I've just got. Um, any police stations and frontier hospitals, fertilizer collector. Oh, nice. Uh, labor camp. Yeah. A labor camp down there. Naval supply depot. Hello. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, pharmaceutical factory. This is a great little find. Uh, for nabbing that planet. All right. So, edicts you know have what? run out. I think I'm going to declare war against the Dosai, Karaman, Wadi. All of that. Because they're currently pathetic and losing their war by about 10%. Okay. Sounds good. You know I'm going to do it. I'm going to so, risk it. Battle the stations. Okay. So Vulcan These just two. offered me money and no hurties. Oh, nice. That's always a bonus. All right. Well, we've smashed this planet to smithereens. Oops. I forgot about that. We were bombing it. So there's nothing left of it. Oops. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to occupy that planet with no problem. So what's their war... Oh, their war um, exhaustion is up to 100. They're ready to settle for us. Oh, we've done it. 
Um, Perfect. I think, well, we're, we're about to. Dispatch a rescue. There we go. Best possible outcome. Oh, as if. Why didn't I? No. What's wrong? I didn't. I, well, I didn't claim. I forgot to claim on their capital. You can so do it's it the now. only thing they. I can do it now, but I mean, they've finished the war now, so. Uh, see. So ten, 10 years, I might subjugate them. But the thing is, they've <laughs> got a mega structure there, and I really wanted that. What is it? It's the Valeria Station. It gives you a lot of research. Damn, I really wanted that. Oh. Mm. It's okay. Well, I've got time projects here. I've got distress calls. I've got all sorts going on. Right, so. Um, science ship. This one here. Oh, you're there. You can grab that. No, no, no. Actually, go and grab that one there. And you grab this one here. Ooh, the other couple of planets have become available for me to colonize in the Badlands now. Possibly because cool, of migrations perfect. or because I got slaves. I don't know. Got yeah. someone. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So you, you've you got that war going now, right? I am, yeah. I am currently attacking the capital of the Osai Confederacy. Nice. Take that. That will be very nice. Definitely. Perfect. So I real I'm really hoping this war goes the way I think it's gonna go. Because like the Wardy Emirates who are kind of the farthest away are almost completely controlled at the moment by the Rakori. Eight. Um, definitely. Actually they've really kind of weakened each other very nice. Yeah, keep me informed. Yeah, absolutely. Research. Will do. Uh, oh, right, yeah, so I've got taken, lots more territory. Just taken that planet. Perfect. Oh, naval supply depot. Definitely going for that. Right, where are my fleets? Let's just get them back. Uh, you're there. It was an honest mistake. Gain unity or gain credits. I'm going to gain unity. Yes. Nice. That's what I wanted. Um, is your home base Cardassia? Yeah. So let's bring you home. It's got some unity here. We're going down the Obsidian Order. By networks, add plus five. We'll go with that one then. Uh, we want to be like full-on spy masters, don't we? Yeah, I guess as much as you can. Spaceport under attack. Right, so we're over our starbase capacity. Which one should I get rid of? Probably this one. What's this one all about? It's not even, it's not even mine. All right, so it's got to be that. I don't know. What's on here? Naval depots. Yeah, I don't really need both of those, actually. Downgrade you. I suppose I could keep... No, I don't want that one. Don't want it. Don't want it. I'd rather have one over a planet, if I'm honest. Probably Ruby. Like it's going well so far. Actually, I'm going to save that one slot for um, Terek Nor. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's something else. Don't necessarily upgrade the star base. <laughs> the star base in Bajor. Because once you take it over, like after a set amount of time, it will like automatically upgrade to a level 3 star base. The annoying thing yeah, nice. is that if you lose it, it will automatically up or downgrade to a level 3 star base. So if you're past okay. level 3, like, I mean, I'd still recommend like upgrading it when possible, but um, if you do, yeah, it's not gonna, I mean, it's always gonna kind of be level 3 when, right. when it changes hands. Keep that in mind. Okay, well, we're getting ready for this Bajorian war. 
Wow, well, the Tellarites, there. they're giving me money now. Okay. So it's just me kind of now against the... Right, what does the sleeper cell against do? Against those ones. I know what it does in theory, but I don't know what it does kind of in practice. Um, okay, that's that gone. I could sabotage their relations between two powers, the United Earth, or target an empire's infrastructure. I could do. Or it's repair sleeper cells. Um... We'll just uh, get some more information on them. Yeah, I don't know exactly what the sleeper cell does. I'm going to get some more information on them right now. So United Earth is superior to me. That's embarrassing. Oops. Well, it happens. I know, but they're not even the Federation yet, and they're more powerful than me, and I've got like 30k altogether fleets near enough. So what is that about? Um, hmm. Oh, naval upkeep and sh ship... Naval capacity increase ship upkeep reduction. Yep, going for that. Hmm. It's terraform. Might as well terraform those. What's this? Are you, you're 85. Can you be terraformed? You can be terraformed to a 95. Yeah, that's good. I've got some planets being terraformed before I oh. colonise them. Do you terraform much, or do you just go straight in for the colonisation? Um, I think it kind of depends on... Well, it depends on several factors. Generally, like, if I'm doing a lot of other stuff at the same time, no. Special project <laughs> I don't. Complete. Um, but it just kind of depends. Okay. I often find that, like... Usually, like, I have enough, like, people around to, Technology I don't know, secure. like, colonize a lot anyway, so I don't necessarily need to have, um, a bunch of, I don't know, Y-class worlds terraformed, for example, if that makes sense. Because often yeah. it just then becomes, like, more trouble than it's really worth, or more hassle to, like, take care of all of that stuff. True. I know what you're I saying. Start. I'm going to try to go down the route of maybe keeping up with it. Maybe that yes, might okay. help. Oh, I don't. I don't know. No. Right. What can I get? Oh, I see. Here we go. I need trellium, so I need to start doing what you've done. Because I don't have trellium. Yeah, that's that's annoying. Yeah, it's really, really annoying. Um, let's attack. Homer. Alright, I'm gonna need you. So yeah, let's do some ship designing oh. then. So like I'm gonna get a uh um galactic forum when I take over this. This oh, yeah. Uh, the nice. yeah, yeah. What should I go for? Um, enter orbit. Arden shields, maybe? That might be alright. Oh no, go there. Um, you got to rename it, haven't you? Yeah, um, I just call it, like, Cruiser or Destroyer or whatever. That's often kind of the easiest way. Rather than constantly trying to, like, oh, let's think of a new name. It's yeah. just the template anyway, it's what not as it? though anything's actually going to be called after that. Battle Crew... The Battle Cruiser? Yeah, I'll do Battle Cruiser... Ah. Oh. And then put number... Two next to it. Oh, cruiser two, save. Right, another cruiser. Cruiser. Two. We have. Oh, I haven't even changed anything on the cruiser two yet. Attacking transport ships. Oh, beautiful. That's a trellium, isn't it? Yeah, the trellium would be really good if we had it. I think that they need to fix that. Not necessarily like the whole like more trellium. I just think they need to fix the fact that if we don't possess trellium, then they shouldn't automatically upgrade to trellium. That yeah, would help. To be honest, right? I agree with you. Or I yeah. feel like like for those ones in lore that um, 
don't actually use Trillium. So, like, really, we only ever see Trillium D in um, Enterprise, like um, Star Trek Enterprise. So it does make you wonder, like, why of like the Dominion, for example, why in Trillium? Because that was a special resource to like survive in the Expanse, like an extra dimensional created thing. Like you wouldn't need that normally. No, exactly. Right, there we go. Now I can probably upgrade my stuff. Where are Ooh, they? I think I'm going to win Let's this here. War. You come back down here. No, actually, you might as well stay there from. No, I've got another one here, haven't I? You. You go down there. You're going to win the war, yeah? I think so, although I am starting to lose the pits. Difficult. I think I'll be okay on my. Right, okay, now I can build like a battle cruise or something, so go. Right, how are my planets doing? They're doing a, not very well, if I'm honest. Uh, excellent, good. Um. I've got it. Mm. Oh yeah, oh, nice. System capital, good. I want to definitely get that done. I'm loving labor camps. I'm whacking them down like, like. Oh look, a trillion mine. <laughs> <laughs> I go into all that, and there's a trillion mine sitting on one of my planets that I could have built, like, probably oh, wow. ages ago. Oh my god, another one! Really? Have I just... Yeah, have I just, like... Sounds like, like you've lucked out. Yeah, that's two planets I've just looked at. Uh, come on, keep them coming. Keep them coming, baby. Three out of three. <laughs> no, damn it. But I'll keep looking, just to see... Because I must have come across the technology to do that, and I haven't noticed it that makes sense mm -hmm. right that's yeah, two trillion of mines though that's that's amazing that's beautiful luck that you have there i know but the thing is i've just spent like two minutes then like sorting my ships out so i could uh not have to worry about that yeah i'm really hoping that i can do the same get some yeah that'd be awesome Have a look. Just going through all of them before I do anything else right now. Right, that'll do. Okay, we got things to do here. Lots of things to do. Technology. Starbase level three. Yay! What? Um, trade. trade That's them. amazing. I know. Really early for that. And everyone's still giving me money. I've got Absolutely twenty thousand alloy. I'd love to have that. Okay, oh, you no, guys. No. Can I reach? Damn it. I didn't realize my transport army was in a the one random system that I haven't taken yet. Oh. I'm going to have to rebuild my transport fleet. Oh, that uh, yeah. That is annoying. But I can build more of them now. I can support a lot more than I could. I'll have 15 shock troops. I think would be good. Oh, I'm about to completely destroy their transport fleets. Always. Always. I'm going to use an asset anyway, even if it's not the right skill. It's got to help. Okay, we got an asset here, did we? Yes. Yeah. Technology secured. That looks good. Let's go for I could extort favours out of the um the uh 
to Larians. Hmm. Might as well, if you can. Yeah, because I've got the dude that can is good at that. So let's do it. On screen, who have we met? Oh, the Breens. Greetings to you. Oh. Good luck. Yep, the Breen have been met. Then go there. So the question becomes where has my uh, fleet come out? Mm. Right, how are we doing across here? Okay, supplies. Okay, not bad. Need supplies. Uh, I'm just getting a labour camp everywhere. Is that alright, do you think? I mean, it does say that it does drop the happiness a bit but it gives you quite a lot i think you'll be fine yeah I, mean, I don't see why that would cause too much difficulty right so we need to start thinking about bejor mm -hmm. now these two here i've got another fleet on the go but what are they missing there for upgrades probably trellium actually does that mean but that doesn't mean I can buy it now. Because you've got some, you can buy it. Great. Uh, you can, yes. Yeah. If I met you, I'd give you some. <laughs> that would be nice. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't even found... Because, of course, there's... I don't think any in the Delta Quadrant. Uh, Gamma Quadrant. I'll remember where I am eventually. So I think I want to probably get rid of those other designs now. So... Yeah, you could do. I mean, there's no point in keeping so them. So I can buy it, yeah. Now I've got access to it, you can buy it. It's so good. Like, just, yeah, just buy it, man. Yeah, that's very helpful. Yeah, that's what it was missing. Vessels upgraded. Vessels upgraded. Ooh, Much research. better. And... Okay, this is the battle cruiser. Are you done now? Yeah, you are. Okay, so I can make a whole new fleet now. Three battle cruisers. Let's get five cruisers. And let's get a load of destroyers. Lovely, and go. Ooh. That was close. I wonder if I could probably get away with declaring war on. No, they would definitely run riot. I need to go. I need to attack. I need to have some fleets prepared, literally clicked on their systems, ready to go, and I'll probably attack them all at the systems. What's this star mm -hmm. base like? Four point five. Technology secure. Then again, maybe not. Maybe I'll let them come out so I can attack the star base on its own. Might be wise. Uh, did I just get the level three star bases? Uh, yes, you. Well, you were researching it. I don't know if you got them or not. I oh, know. Yep, I'm researching it. It's still there. I didn't know if that was what I just got. Need a new leader for my fleet. Good. We're not going to lose that then. So all of you enter up with there. Repair. Yadera, go for the technician. Oh, I need some Jim Hadar and or Vorta. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. There are farms on you. Um, and another. That's real. There we go. 115 dilithium a month. That's pretty good. Uh, that's very good. Oh, how'd you get up there? Take you and go over there. I need a transport. 
That shouldn't be bad. I have a while. Do research. Administrative peace. Yeah, I'm almost finished with my war. I might just claim the rest of the Tarogan Empire. Really expand. Hmm. I'm tempted. Because the the Rakari are very large. Although they are currently fighting a and losing against the Neverite Alliance. So heading your way. Nice, keep it coming, keep it coming. Yeah, so I've I've met the uh Nibirit Alliance. Mm -hmm. The Neverite Alliance. Neverite, yeah, so that yeah. so we're pretty pretty close. Ooh, battleship or type six photon torpedoes gotta to be the battleship, isn't it? I think so. Might as well. And now I can get the upgrade off star bases. I wanna get all those going. Yeah, I mean that's doing... that's great that you have uh star base level three. Oh, actually, do I need that one right there? Don't think I do, if I'm honest. That, mm, it's a beast, but I'd probably rather do up. Yeah, no, I'm going to get rid of this star base here because there isn't even a planet, and I don't. I like having mine above planets. Downgrade. Gone. Yeah. Zenkefi, you, you can upgrade. The, sorry, the star bases. I like having my star bases above my planets. Mm. Yeah, makes sense. If I can. Keeps wanting me to uh, research the Trillium plating, like the heavier version of the Trillium plate. Yeah, what's the point? Why would I do that? Okay. Research. Oh, Jim Hadar assaults. Definitely go for that. Have I got any more first contacts that I can do? I can do the Tamalian study. Uh, Tamarian study, right? Is it the Tamarian? No, no, yeah, not the Talarians. Yeah, sorry. They're, they're so similar in name, aren't they? Tamarians, Talarians. I'm not sure if you said it, whether I was just not paying attention, but I heard Tamalian, like a Mexican tamale. Yeah, I might, like, uh, I, might, I might have said the Talarians or the... Yeah, the Tamarians, I'm not sure which one I said now. Um, right, what's this light ship crash site available? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Well, it's Go a good to. one for the Bajorans. I don't know how good it is for the Cardassians. Oh, we'll have a look, see what it's all about. How are my ships doing now? Pretty good. 18k. I think I'm going to claim now against Bajor. Let's have that. Make claims. That's yeah, done. Gonna, Let's see if I'm I go gonna... to go war. Yeah, yeah claim it's only those two. Oh. Um, I reckon I could probably clean up. I reckon I could declare war, let them just go around my system doing what they want to do, and then swoop in on their systems mm -hmm. and then uh clean, you know stop their star bases straight away and then just clean up that's the plan so let's do it so let's go to war against the bajorans declare war happy days Invite Who are they, the with? Attack. they are with the zeppelite oh the yeah, the is that how you say it the zeppelite 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 or shepelite um not sure to be honest Mm. I don't remember when we heard about them. No. Oh, you know what? I take that back. I think we heard about them in Deep Space Nine, but I think, like... Yeah, but I can't remember how they said it. Maybe. Yeah. I think they were on the Cardassian side. I think I remember Philip telling me that. Ah. Was that an envoy? Envoy has died. Right, yeah, so they've just let their fleets loose like crazy. So now I'm going to move straight in. 
to their system, take it out, and then clean up. They are going to take a lot of my systems, but they're not going to be able to reinforce. Is that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Am I out of dilithium or something? No. What, what are we waiting for here? Oh, they took out. Hmm. Why are you not? Such platform disrupted. Has it taken ages to upgrade? No, you are upgrading. Zero G research platform disrupted. Right. All right. Loads of edicts coming yep. to an end. Uh, Vessel production capacity. Let's change the path of this diminished. fleet to go like that. The Tur the Turogan Empire, even though it's a subsidiary under the Caraman Foundation, is actually putting up a very decent fight in terms of like star bases attacking my ships, like and doing a lot of damage. Ah. Okay. Solar system hardpoint lost. All right, they're Special bringing. Project complete. Uh, well, hang on. What's this? I've got ancient contact here. Note of your or no one needs to know. Oh, you know, oh, that's with the uh, yeah. Which one would you recommend? The lightship one, right? Oh, yeah. To be honest, I don't know. Um, I don't. Well, what are the effects? Uh, is it, alternatively, it's possible to destroy the ships remnant and dispose of the survey team. No one will know, and I get some influence for that and some load of research, or I can get unity and research. I'm going to smash it up then. I'm not going to let them know. I'm going to go down that route. route. So the terraforming's complete yeah, as well. I mean, in the in the show, they didn't let them know until the Bajorans like found out. Ah, like for themselves. They didn't do it on purpose. So now I can colonize those, although we have got Bajoran fleets and uh, the Zeppelite, the Zeppelites going around making them, so we'll wait for that. We can do the Badland ones. Vessels upgraded. Uh, what do we want? I need more alloys. Hmm. Let's pull you back. Go one of those. Technology secured. Ah, that's where their fleet is. And the Lispians. Well, how are we doing here? We need to go down and get that world. Technology secured. Uh, can you do it? I don't know. I think you, you need might need to go back. Oh, we got the battleship. That's good. Oh, very nice. My envoys are all dropping dead, though. Oh, come on, so close to upgrading, and then we can go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Vessels upgraded. Oh, they had one rogue fleet. <laughs> and we got to go that way. No, you're not. I'm going to wait. Actually, you know what? We can go down here then while we wait. Right, let's try and clean up now. Get some of these... Planets back. Um, System, sorry. Dominion World Tribute. Oh. Did it freeze for you? Yeah, it did for a second there. Now it's come back. Good. Yeah. Um, contribution of our vassals. We don't have any yet. Orbital subject integration cooldown cost. But we don't need that as the Dominion... Research speed increased by 10. You know what? Let's go for that one. I right, might as well start bombing Bejor then. Yeah. How much? How many troops have they got down on Bejor? Let's have a look. Armies. 323, so we shouldn't be too bad. Easy enough. Yes, I'm interested right. to see how you deal with the Bajorans, whether you'll go, like, hard-fisted or whether you will, uh, you know, be lenient. How do you feel like playing? Um, well, yeah. I don't know, hard-fisted maybe, but 
I think the best option would be to go a bit more lenient and then they won't rise up as much. Yes, very true. But if we go a bit more hard-fisted, then you're going to get a lot of rebellions and that could be fun to deal with. It could be. Yeah. Could be worth the uh, worth the risk. Yeah, for the entertainment purposes. Imagine like if they actually got somewhere, started like claiming getting some systems. Oh, that would be funny. Uh, actually, that's very likely. Well, depending on how you deal with them, really. As um, they will suddenly revolt and just become an independent system. And yeah. And then you're like automatically at war with them. So. And then you've got to do it all again. <laughs> yep. Basically. Or, or we do go down the more diplomatic route and we keep hold of Bejor and we make sure we've got that wormhole ready for when you come through it. I do. Up to you. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that's like a um, Cardassian specific thing. But, so, for example, if I were to take on Beige or take out Beige, like if that would, if the same thing would happen, or whether that's um, like a Cardassian specific thing. I don't know. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Back like that. I reckon we could probably go and get Bajor now then. Actually claim it. Because we've been bombing. Where is it? It's down here. What are we looking like now? 270? Yeah. We don't want to bomb it to oblivion. Yeah, might as well. Might be able to do it. We'll give it a go. If not, we can always make more men. Exactly. Right, the invasion has started. Oh, I think it's going to be a tough one, actually. I don't know. Should do it. Receiving communications. Well, this war is going well for me. Although, actually, my exhaustion is much higher than theirs, ironically. But they don't have any... To my knowledge, any more ships or fleets or anything. Okay. Go for military training. Let's send these three down to get that system. Because they literally... Oh, I take that back. They have one Technology small fleet secure. left, which is a cruiser. Which is trying to escape somewhere. Ground invasion force has seized right, we've got it. Nice. We've got Bajor. But we haven't won the war yet, but Yeah, we've but it should be. It. Oh, we have. It's done. Construct... I'd say, because you then control all of their territory, so it makes sense. Construct Terek Nor. Yes. Do that yep. please. Then that's your level three star base. Nice. But I didn't get Zeppa. Even though I claimed it. No, you don't, because um, you only get claimed from the one that you're fighting directly. Oh, okay. Annoyingly. Yeah. The Haitians have declared war on the Soleil. I wonder how that goes. That'd be quite cool. That'd be interesting to watch, actually. Yeah. Okay, so we've already got, like, um, things going on here on Bajor. And... Our agent got caught, I think, with the Talarians. Tel mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, Bajor crime is plus 15 already, straight away. Let's see what we can do about that. Planet summary. Well. Do we already have a police station? I do. <laughs> do I chuck a labour camp down on there as well? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would really make yeah, it rise up pretty quickly. That's so, um, let's put an entertainment centre down there. And then I think what we want to do is go into the rules, don't we? Let's just try and keep hold of this place. Uh, where we go to species, go to Bajorans, set rights. Um, oh, damn it. 
citizenship. Well, they are. Do I offer them full citizenships? Uh, no, it's not do. possible. Not possible because of the Xeno rights policy not enabled. I have to sort that out. Oh, they're not as okay. slaves. They're not. They're not down as slaves though. Oh well, that's good. They're down as residents. Well, maybe you won't have the slavery problem then, if that's the default. I mean, that because that is the default kind of uh, thing, the default level. Yeah, they seem like. Yeah, they'd be alright. Okay. I don't know why they would need to kick off. I don't have any slaves, actually. Oh, that's not bad. I think well, the I next think one's I to... conquer. Yeah. We're, well, we're, we're, we're calling that, that one? In the... in, yeah, we're going to have to do that in the next episode, because I've also just finished my war and got all but one system from, the, from everything. So I've kind of doubled in size and got all of my stuff back, which I'm very happy about. Um, yeah, but it means I'm going to have a lot of kind of stuff to do in the next episode. I'm at 14 of 9 star bases. I'm going to have to change. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, um, for me, lots to do. Anyway. Lots to do for everyone, absolutely. The Federation still hasn't formed. That's kind of worrying, but it's fine. If they don't want to form, they don't want to form. That's all right. We'll just take them on individually. But they are in that massive coalition, don't forget. I don't know if that's yeah, got anything to do to with it. Yeah, see if that ever forms, or whether that's done. Yeah, yeah, they do have a nice coalition going. Um, so yeah, so we've just taken Bajor, and my question is, what will make them happier? Because you, as you can see in the species tab here, they are residents anyway. I thought they start off as slaves, but maybe not. Setting the rights, you can see there. Just give me some tips, anyone on that one? What you think we should do? Um, make them yeah like i said happier uh what about the zephyrs zephyr like guilds we gonna have to go maybe subjugate those i think and maybe look at subjugating some other people now um and making some some slaves let's get some slaves going with the cardassians and everybody's our citizens so yeah we definitely want slaves other than that i think it was yeah really good from both of our points of view there so um Absolutely. So yeah, so I think that's it from us on this one, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to both of our channels. This one is on mine, this 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 um episode. So next week will be Jamie's. So make sure you check out that one. Stay in touch. And um, yeah, just keep on, keep on coming back. It would be really grateful if you did and enjoy the ride with us. Also, we do have a Discord. It's called The Collective. It's awesome. We all hang out there. So please do check that out. The link for that will be in the description below. And I think I've covered everything, so we're signing off. So see you in the next episode. Take care and bye-bye for now. See you next time. Make it so.